Valves are essential components in countless industrial applications, controlling the flow of liquids, gases, steam, and slurries. But with so many types available, how do you choose the right one? Let's break it down. Classifying valves. Valves come in all shapes and sizes, and selecting a valve can be a daunting task if you've never done so before. To simplify the process, we classify valves based on three key factors. Function, motion, and service. Each category helps determine which valve is best suited for a specific application. Classifying valves by function. The first way to classify valves is by their function, or what the valve is designed to do. There are four primary functional categories. On off, non-return, throttling, and final control elements. On off valves. Also known as block valves, these valves are used to start or stop the flow of process fluids. Examples include gate, plug, ball, butterfly, pressure relief, and tank bottom valves. They are commonly used when media must be diverted or as part of safety management systems. Non-return valves. Also called check valves, allow fluid to flow in only one direction, preventing backflow that could damage equipment or disrupt a process. Throttling valves. These valves regulate flow, pressure, or temperature. Unlike on-off valves, they can adjust to any position within their stroke. Control valves and pressure regulators fall into this category. Final control elements. Final control elements play a critical role in process automation. The most common type is the control valve, which receives signals from a controller and makes real-time adjustments to the process. The second way to classify valves is by motion, how the closure element moves to control flow. There are two main types, linear and rotary. Linear motion valves. These use a sliding stem to push a closure element into an open or closed position. They offer simple designs, easy maintenance, and versatility in size and pressure class. Common types include globe, gate, angle, Y pattern, three-way, and pinch valves. Rotary motion valves. These valves use a closure element that rotates, usually within a 90-degree range. Compared to linear valves, they often have larger ports, weigh less and cost less, but they can be more prone to cavitation and flashing under high-pressure drop conditions. Common rotary valves include ball, butterfly, and eccentric plug valves. Classifying valves by service. Finally, we classify valves by the service conditions they are designed to handle. There are three broad categories, general service, special service, and severe service. General service valves, designed for moderate pressures, temperatures, and non-corrosive fluids. These are commonly rated NC class 150 to 600 and operate between negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 650 degrees Fahrenheit, making them ideal for standard industrial applications. Special service valves. These are built for unique applications, such as high pressure systems, corrosive environments, and moderate cavitation conditions. They often require custom materials and designs to handle specific challenges. Severe service valves. Engineered for extreme conditions, these valves withstand high pressure drops, severe cavitation, flashing, choking, and excessive noise levels. They feature custom engineered trims to minimize damage and optimize process performance. Selecting the right valve is essential for efficiency, safety, and process performance. Understanding how to classify valves based on function, motion, and service is an important first step in being able to properly select and size a valve for your application. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights on control valves and process automation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.